love God, love God, love God. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you. Cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. Zephaniah, the son of Cushai, the son of Gedali, the son of Amorah, the son of Hiscah, in the days of Joseph, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. I will utterly consume all things from off the land, said the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowl of the heavens, the fishes of the sea, and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. And I will cut off man from off the land, said the Lord. I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah, and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will cut off the remnant of Baal from the place in the name of the cherubims with the priests. And them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and them that worship and swear by the Lord, and swear by Malcolm, and them that have turned back from the Lord, and those that have not sought the Lord, nor inquired for him, hold thy peace in the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord has prepared a sacrifice, he has bid his guests. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold which their master's houses with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord, that there shall be the noise of the cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. Howl, ye inhabitants of Makdish, for all the merchant people are cut down, people of Canaan are undone, all they that bear silver are cut off. And it shall come to pass at that time that I shall search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves, that say in their heart, the Lord will not do Good, neither will he do evil. Therefore, their goods shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near. It passeth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man, shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against spent cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh is the dung neither their silver nor gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy for he shall make even the speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land Chapter 2 Gather yourselves together, ye, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass of the shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness.